the fuck? Motherfucking petty! Like a different type of zone I really love it when I can't be all alone I ain't happy, they left I don't need nobody else I don't need nobody's help I feel waving by myself Oh, I'm such a loner I'm happy when I'm lonely Them problems I don't want them This week has been so long Last episode of uh, Ozark, um, petty bitch ass is raiding Marty's house. All right, caught him while he was sleeping. That's how it always do. They catch your ass off guard. All right, he got the FBI all through this shit. You know what I'm saying? So petty, he happy as he happy as fuck. You seen how he looked at Marty? So I don't know what's finna go down. You know what I'm saying? Wendy, she's been a G. Like these last couple episodes, Wendy been a G. I don't want to give her too much credit because every time I, like I, every time I start liking Wendy, she do some fuck shit. But she been fucking gangster these last couple episodes, man. Like off the fucking chain. Um, Buddy's a G. Ruth a G. I hate her fucking dad. Her dad is a fucking piece of shit, man. But I don't know who I hate worse. Ruth's dad, Cade, and it's Cade, right? Or that goddamn Darlene. <laughs> that motherfucking Darlene. Shit, boy. Anyway, y'all. Um, I don't want to waste no time. I want to get into this episode. We'll chop it up after the episode. All right. I love y'all. Full reaction on Patreon. All right. Let's get into this shit. Love y'all. You know what that is right there? That is plug ugly. This was a place of great natural beauty. Birds used to nest in those trees, Jacob. Herons, egrets, cranes. Huh. It's our wonder of the world turning into a resort. Yes, sir, we are new. Desecration. That riverboat they're bringing up here? Have you seen it? In close up? Because we're going to be seeing it on our morning walks every day for the rest of our lives. I'm reminding you that ill humor in the morning brings about a dark day. We entered into it by choice. Damn, she made me sick. We did, Darlene. Not without reservation, but for the benefit of the family. And our family will benefit. The family? Uh-huh. What family? Whoa! Whoa! Go get Petty. Whoa! We're not under arrest because we don't have anything to They don't found the goddamn stash of goddamn Charlotte. 
And she'll go back inside. Uh, I think you guys can go back inside when they're finished. Look, look, look at Petty. What the fuck? Busy morning, looks like. Not a thing to worry about. This is Jonas. Just back from tax time. How's that? Boys first kill. Oh shit. You ready? Oh, he taking Morty in. What the fuck? God damn, Jacob don't ate half the deer and gave the rest of it to them. Poindexter. Okay, so we got uh, headphones. I was finna say that's a toy chest, but that's what Charlotte had her money in. I see the like the Hello Kitty on the side. Uh, we have a cigarette, a cigarette or a cigarette lighter. Oh, that's one of them goddamn um, lighter, lighter thing, flame things. You know what I'm saying? At night, whatever you call that shit. And a uh, bow. No, them zip ties, like handcuffs. I guess that's what they put Marty in. What? Well, what are you, uh, what are you doing? Making sure for Marty's sake that there's nothing here that shouldn't be. Oh, uh, wait, wait, was Marty arrested? I told you, I don't know. All I know is that they raided his house. Okay, okay, but but he wasn't arrested, right? Are you thinking that I know more than I did five seconds ago? <laughs> they wouldn't arrest us, would they? Why, well, you got child pornography on your computer or something? <laughs> yeah, that's not funny. <laughs> not to you. But that's the thing about being funny. They would need a warrant, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, they would uh, They would need that, um, what do you call it? It's... Probable cause. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they don't have that. I mean, well, not in my case. Can you shut the fuck up <laughs> and get me a cardboard box behind the bar? Hey, baby. Hey. He is such a What's fucking square. Like? Nothing. Doesn't look like nothing. Can you do me a favor and get the fuck out and close the door? I knew that was coming. I take my orders from Sam. Oh! Oh, is that right? Oh! Yeah. Trick! Well, how about I pop those tits and squeeze out the silicone? How do you feel about that? You know who you fucking with? Stay in your lane! I've got you, Marty. It's over. The cartel knows where you are. They're waiting to just kill you. But here, it's safe. Your family is safe. Agents are at the house right now, ready to take Wendy and the kids right into protective custody. Life, so they say, is but a game and they let it slip away. Marty here is just inquiring about his future as a paid informant for the Federal Bureau of Investigation. No. I wasn't. What did you buy? What? Well, they found 4,600, so what did you buy with the rest? Uh, um, jeans and a sweater and other little things. Mm -hmm. In case of emergency, huh? You got any other surprises for me? Anything you want to tell me? Mm -hmm. You know, I distinctly remember you saying to me that everything, everything that's happened was making you feel like you were growing up too fast. Well, grow the fuck up. Because it's game on. Do you understand? I know she's a bratty teenager, but Charlotte make me fucking sick. I got like, how many characters on this bitch that I hate? I got 
Ruth's daddy, Darlene, Charlotte, who else? Petty, who else? I think they're my top four. You know what I'm saying? I think they're my top four. Charlotte, Darlene, Petty, and Ruth's dad, Cade. These motherfuckers here, boy. Now, I know Charlotte's a kid. She's a, she's a little bratty little child. She don't know no better. I get it. She's spar riding. But damn, boy. Here. The fact is, Marty, you are really good at creating corporate structures. But the problem is you lack people skills. It's judgment of character. I mean, it's your Achilles heel. I mean, I, you know, I don't want to talk out of school here, but... Let's just look at your track record. No. Nope. Your teenage lieutenant. Did you know she tried to kill you? Remember when she gave you a ride home on her boat? Oh, Marty? shit! Your dock was wired, Marty. Shit! Exact same way the blue cat dock was wired when Ruth killed her uncles. I'm sure you know about that also. Shit! And I never really did get to know Boyd, but I did get to know Russ. Russ told me quite a bit about what you and Ruth do to help out the cartel. We both know that if you could substantiate those charges, you would have arrested her. Ooh, I know fuck. Ruth wired the dock because I unwired it. Why don't you stay here? They're gonna kill Patty. me, where it's safe. We can order in lunch. I'm happy with my representation. There you go, buddy. Where the fuck you was? You're okay, but I know you're not. Fuckers. Where the fuck buddy was you're at? Later. He still went drinking. Like a boss. <laughs> and very sick. Lungs and ticker all going, and he was stuck in bed. And this guy's a loner all his life. But he tells the lady taking care of him that he wants to see his friends say goodbye. So she sends out word. All his friends come to his little hovel, gather around his deathbed, telling stories. And you know what happens. What happens? He doesn't die. <laughs> And then after a couple of days, the friends, well, they leave. They have lives. And then he dies. Sad. But sweet. Because when you think you're going to die yesterday, today is sweet. So hang in, Wendy. I love Buddy, man. Lose your shit tomorrow. They found my money. No shit. Well, maybe you shouldn't have kept it on a shelf. Mom asked uh, if you knew anything about it, and I said no. You should be thanking me. Thanks. But you need to be really careful. Do you think I could have some of it? She is so For reckless. What? <laughs> Van. I mean, you can live in it, but you can get away. You know? Crazy, mother. I can't. But I gave it to you. But the money's tied up, Charlotte. It's safe earning interest. I swear she reckless. Oh, my money. God. They go, damn, darling. This here is Wally. Wally. Wally? Say hello to Mrs. Snell. Or maybe you could call Darlene. Who child they on stove? Hello, Miss Darling. <laughs> you don't stole well, a child. Help out a little. Help us out doing what? Help out. Spend time in the farm, around the house, learning our ways. Wouldn't that be good, Wally? Yes, sir. What did he find, Wally? Yeah. Born near Lynn, lost both his parents, fell on hard times, but righted himself a little, didn't you? 
Would you excuse us for a minute, boy? Yes, ma'am. Boy. Boy. Why are you bringing some kid into our kitchen? He's a foster child. And I thought then, if he likes us and we like him, then maybe he might be... Our heir? No. I want a baby boy, someone we can mold. <laughs> you ain't gonna live that long, Trick. I'm gonna try this boy out, darling. <laughs> so please, keep an open mind. That's why I'm here. But like I said, I can't... I'd offer you coffee, but I just rinse the pot. What the fuck? I'll be on my way then. Oh, and Sheriff, that boy on the porch, his name is Willie. Wally. <laughs> on your way out, run him back down where he came from. So Jacob trying to please Darlene's sick, crazy fucking ass. He goes out and go finds a little boy named Wally, Willie Wally, and try to adopt him to please Darlene because they need an heir. All right, now Darlene wants a baby that she can raise and mold. Have this motherfucker looked in the mirror lately? Has she looked on the goddamn mirror and say, mirror, mirror on the wall, who is the youngest and beautiful of all Ozark? You know what the fucking mirror say? Not you, motherfucker. Sit on the other side. Who's Ruth Langmore? We work together closely. She's very valuable. She's smart. I shouldn't need to tell you this, but if we get any indication that your loyalty isn't solid, arrangements will be made. Do you understand that? How much do they know? Your son and daughter about everything? They don't know anything. Well, as a parent, I find that implausible. Kids see things. They hear things. What do your kids know? This isn't about my kids. They know that I'm opening a casino. They think the raid is connected to that. Are you lying to protect them or yourself? Your son pulled a gun on a federal agent, Marty. Pull over. Losing the trust. She losing the trust. <laughs> he, th he thought she was gonna bust him. My kids don't know I smoke. I hide it. Damn. What about the snouts? What about them? The FBI sent half its Midwest dipshits to our little hamlet, so I'd say we have a problem with their crop of opium poppies. Do you agree? I agree. Have you seen Marty? Mm -mm. Have you heard? Just what everybody else heard. We raided the house. What about you? No, I haven't heard shit. I left Marty messages, but he hasn't called back. Hmm. Are they, they gonna bring you in? They're more likely to bring you in since you're his partner and all. You're his fucking partner in the strip club? <laughs> well, and then he has a lot of partners. Sure fucking does. Hey, what would you do if he went down? I haven't thought that far. You should. Sick. The cartel Fuck. sent in its lawyer. The expression on Marty's face was priceless. And by tonight, nobody will trust anybody else, and the whole thing will just topple. Just, just be careful. Stay by the book. And the slightest whiff of blown Miranda or entrapment, all this gets thrown out. You know my fucking boss. So just follow the leader here. <laughs> Look at Bobby. 
If I hadn't bounced on your psyche, though, you wouldn't have a job right now. You know what? Big picture. You're a worker bee. And I'm the queen. Do me a favor, Roy. Don't give Rachel Garrison any more opioids. And this time, try to keep your asset alive. You're just jealous. Because that big, beautiful bear fucked me 50 times harder than you ever could. Oh my god! I want my lawyer. Oh, no, you don't. Ah! That have to Damn arrest. right! For what? How about a double murder, for starters? You know, I just gotta ask you. What forces do you think you're messing with when a double murder is the least of your problems? How does that sound? Sounds like go fuck yourself. <laughs> you want me to explain how that works exactly? Look, I'm fucking not your problem here. I'm your fucking solution. Second option, I arrest you for killing your uncles. Maybe you don't know it, but juries, they tend to look down on people who kill their own family members. What you do is you roll into a ball or whatever, and you take your dick, right, and you put it up your ass. Third option is I do nothing, and the cartel kills you. But I liked your Uncle Russ a lot. Yeah. We put our tongues down each other's throats and our dicks up each other's asses, but... God I I damn! You personally. Did Ruth know that? You? Like, he was gay? You're just a piece of shit. You're just a dangerous, worthless, raggedy-ass, little redneck piece of shit. God damn! I bet you're thinking, Marty Bird, he'll protect me. He won't let the cartel kill me. But I just talked to him. I told him how you tried to kill him, how you wired his dock. So... Now, don't be too obvious, but look over your shoulder, one o'clock. What? What? God That's damn, the they on her ass! And now, guess what? They think we're friends. You know, Sinatra used to say, live every day like it's your last. One day you'll be right. This motherfucking petty! Well, it wasn't easy to start with, but where I come from, a deal is a deal. And now it seems like every day somebody wants to change that deal. That deal? To erect a casino requires that all parties take all necessary precautions to protect that casino's viability. Our deal was for you to distribute our heroin and for you to launder our money. Y'all knew we grew heroin. That was pre-existing knowledge. No one's denying that, but circumstances have changed. A deal's a deal. What's changed? You want to know what's changed? The FBI is on their way over here as we speak. I call that a change, wouldn't you? We need your help, okay? Please. Jacob? You want us to destroy that deal? Yes, today. Then you keep paying us for our product. You want us to keep paying you for heroin that you're not delivering? Mm-hmm. Otherwise, we'll just take our chances. I'm spending way too many billable hours arguing with these rednecks. <laughs> that would be a different word if I were you. I hate this place. <laughs> What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? Shit! Oh. Yeah. I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. <laughs> Shit flying in my mouth. The fuck? I can't see pilot. Let's get the fuck out of this country, motherfucker. Is that the Ramada? Oof, like sandpaper and I miss my kids. Your friend Wilkes, he funds that orphanage, doesn't he? Uh huh. You think he could help me and Jacob find a baby? Look, look, look at this shit. Look at this I'm shit. Sorry. 
child, Wendy, a baby boy. We take more kindly to destroying our field if you can get us a baby. Hey, Ruth. They're sending me up, Mari. That fed, petty fucking blindsides me in the parking lot and starts saying all this fucking shit. Listen, not now, okay? You know I didn't talk to them, right? I, hey, not over the phone. All I'm just asking... I said not over the phone. I'm going to call you later. When? Later. I'm hanging up now. You want to do this inside? Ah, shit. The kids. Sorry about this, Marty. In one email to you, Wendy, Charlie talks about doing something that he shouldn't have, but that a part of him kind of thought you wanted him to. What did he do? God damn! He kissed you. He feel you up. This motherfucker is ruthless! Don't fuck yourself. You're out of line. This is an ethics violation. Well, you want to hit me? Marty, be a pretty bad idea, don't you no, think? Marty, it's okay. This motherfucker is ruthless! <laughs> He's ruthless! Well, God damn! God catchy. damn! The way he still defends your honor. I mean, after what you did. Who do you think you are? A federal agent conducting a criminal investigation, and whether you've accepted it or not, you're a criminal, Wendy. In serious trouble, I'd say. In serious marital trouble, if I'm reading any of this right. Are you finished? Nope. Not quite. Mm. Oh, my God! seen it we've talked about it really wow and what'd you say you say that i'm sorry oh my I really think you can goodness shame me. this motherfucker's the devil shame us into witness protection what's what's your angle here divide and conquer <laughs> do you guys just stand together for the kids because if you really want to do them a favor, and by that I mean save their fucking lives, then get them out of here right now. We'll get in my car and get, get out of here. Get the fuck off our property. Goddamn right. Bitch ass motherfucker. You tell them, Wendy. Maybe they think I ran it. He ain't done nothing wrong, Ruth. Okay? There's one way in here, one way out. Plus, we got all men or weaponry. And it's dark. They don't know the layout. Now, those Mexicans are stupid enough to come here half cock will take them out. Bim bam boom. Man, you dead as hell. You are dead as hell. And Ruth, you listen to that motherfucker, you dead. Smells? Mm-hmm. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Tired of playing monkey in the middle though. Yeah, well, that's because you're trying to please everybody, and it's not goddamn possible. You gotta act. Let everybody else react. If they kill I'd Ruth, I'm done. Wouldn't you? I'm done, man. Seriously, Ruth? Do you I'm trust done. Her? Absolutely. What about you, Marty? Do you trust her with your life? I'm fucking done. I can't take no. this shit. You hesitated. You can trust her. Why did you hesitate? I was considering the question, Helen. I'm home. Where do you think? You gotta get out of there. I need you to meet me somewhere. In town. What, now? What? Why? Behind the movie theater in that lot. What the fuck's going on, Marty? Ruth, meet me. No. I'm staying put. Fine, don't move. I'm gonna be right there. Marty, they will kill her. Why, why did you hesitate? She tried to kill me. What? Ruth tried to kill me. Bruce turned on me. You cheated on me. Maybe I'm not the best judge of character. I like Marty. But he thinks too much. It's got to act. Somebody does. Buddy's such a fucking G. The voice of reason. The wise man. What? Did you try to kill me? Last August. God damn. On my dock. Your car broke down. I loaned you the van. Did you wire that dock? Yes or no? 
Yeah? It was a long time ago. No, it was not. It was three months ago. You were working for me. Come on. Hey, I need to know if I can trust you. Our lives are on the line. Both of our lives. Okay? I swear to God, Marty, you can trust me. I swear on my life. I swear on Wyatt's life. Oh, fuck! I mean, I get it. That's his daughter. I get it, but he's gonna lose. Oh, my God. You can trust her. I just talked to her. Well, you weren't such an hour ago. Well, we'll know soon enough. You told them I was here? What are they gonna do to her? Then how do they know where I live? What the fuck are they gonna do? No! No! Switch to the fucking coffee. Y'all wrong for that shit. You gonna die? Oh, fuck, Ruth. There's too much going on. I don't like this shit at all. I don't like this shit at all, man. Die like this. Here goes nothing. Uh. Holy shit! Darlene is fucking gonna shit a brick. Burn, baby. Burn, baby, burn. Where's Ruth? God damn right she is. Where the fuck she at? Where? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh fuck. Yo man. Yo, man, this was a tough episode. Fuck. Yo. This was a tough episode, man. This shit had me tense 
the whole time. At least she's she's alive. She didn't they didn't kill her. Cause I thought it was gonna be a shootout with her dad, her crazy ass dad is gonna start shooting and it's gonna be a big shootout, a big bloodbath. But she lived. Wendy went and distracted that crazy ass Darlene about adopting a child while Buddy was burning the field. And I thought this was gonna be when Buddy died. Like he was gonna go out, you know what I'm saying? Like Tony Montana, you know what I'm saying? Go out in the blaze of glory. You know what I'm saying? But it looked like they accomplished it. You know what I'm saying? They got it done. My thing is, I was just worried Buddy, Buddy wasn't going to make it. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I love Buddy, man. Buddy's that motherfucking G on this bitch. But he made it. Um, I don't know how the relationship going to be with Marty now with Ruth. Now that, you know, Marty know that Ruth tried to kill him. You know what I'm saying? So that's like tore up the trust. And now the kids know about when they're cheating. So they then porn is like how much the van costs. So ain't, they might be running away. I mean, it's so much shit finna pop off now. You know what I'm saying? And that Agent Petty, man, that motherfucker is the devil. He, I don't even understand how he a fucking cop. That dude, he violates so many goddamn regulations, and he, I don't understand how he ain't goddamn got fired. <laughs> that motherfucker is sick, man. <sighs> Yo, I'm going into the next episode because this shit is so fucking good. I gotta see Darlene's face. When she look out the window and see all that shit on fire, I got to see the relationship between Marty and Ruth, what the kids are going to do with the van. Just so much shit's popping off. You know what I'm saying? i see y'all in the next episode. I really need a pickup. Grab my guitar and a bottle of some liquor. Every day is like a different type of zone. I really love it when I can be all alone. I ain't happy, they left. I don't need nobody else. I don't need nobody's help. I feel waving by myself. Oh, I'm such a loner. I'm happy when I'm lonely. I don't want to. This week has been so long, yeah. Well, it's been a long night. So I got a fire fire smile, but I can get into the song. I'm so reclusive, I tell them people confusing They take my kindness for weakness and often try to abuse it They offer me all this friendship, I'm sorry, I must refuse it I love being alone, how did I come to that conclusion? It's usually cause of music, and usually I'm influenced by past and present conditions